welcome to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're gonna to be talking about the importance of protocol. So I just got done writing and presenting a workshop on people that are in pain. And I did a, a lot of interesting research about what happens to the psyche and the body when under stress, pain, and cortisol response. And there was something amazing that uh, information that I stumbled upon that I really wanted to share with everybody. And it's that protocol that, that's meaning any of the exercises that we choose with our clients in pain or clients really anywhere is only 20% of the piece of the pie when it comes to if a client is going to get out of pain or stay in pain. That's a very small margin. But it's interesting because when you go to workshops, and, and, and me too, when I present workshops, I'm always showing more and more strategy, more and more protocol. But here's the thing, the protocol is only as good as the person that's doing it. And so we need to understand that that 80%, that big umbrella, really has everything to do with the mindset of the client. That is an important piece to really understand what our clients are going through when they're in pain or even when they're learning something new. Now, that being said, if you need to change the mindset of the client, the easiest inroad into that is actually through the body. It's how you get to that hard wiring. So when we're starting to work with people, what we need to do is help them create a sense of ease in their body and experience something different neurologically very quickly. Because what that does is it switches them from their sympathetic nervous system to their parasympathetic nervous system. It gets them to relax. Their breathing starts to deepen. And when that happens, when your clients get out of that cortisol response, that's when options start to open up in front of them. And the protocol that you do choose absolutely has a better chance of landing in their body. That means that when we're working with their clients, their physicality, their, their mental state, their emotional state, it's all one thing. But if we can get our clients to downgrade their stress level and not amp it up even more with rigid cueing or um, um, rigid uh, activations, we can certainly remap the way that they speak to themselves in their body and start to create ease around really easy tasks on the equipment. So the next time you have somebody that has a, a good deal of pain or they're just learning, remember, if you can make them a little bit more comfortable and make them take that natural deep breath, you know that you've already sparked this whole myriad of effects in their endocrine system, in their body systems, that's gonna help them be a better listener, a more compassionate to themselves and what they're going through. And the movements that you do choose, that protocol, that 20%, might increase in effectiveness by 50 or 80%. So lots of things to think about when we're teaching clients. It's not as cut and dry as get on the reformer and, and do eight sets of this. So. Uh, uh, give that a try with your clients. Get your clients to take that nice inhale, get their nervous systems changing, and you will see a huge difference in their movement outcomes. That's all for today. If you have any questions or observations you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum. Thanks so much for watching and never stop learning.